body, the nail is dead tissue. And so the body is attempting to eliminate the fungus with the dead tissue. It's actually pretty smart. It's a pretty smart strategy. That's why if anybody ever tells you they're killing fungus in the nail, they are medical or biological or biochemical boneheads. You don't kill fungus in the nail. I shouldn't say that. You don't get health benefits by killing fungus in the nail. That doesn't do you any good. And by the way, you can't really even do that very effectively anyway, if you can at all. The only people who I've ever heard tell me that they killed the fungus in their nails with laser, with drugs, are people selling the lasers and the drugs. And I don't, don't mean to offend any, anybody selling lasers and drugs. It's just I've never seen it. So maybe it occurred. I've just never seen it. All right, so you can't really do much to your nails or your hair, no matter what the shampoo manufacturers say or the conditioner manufacturers say. You can't really do much to hair because it's dead. You can't use a product in your hair and have beautiful, healthy hair, at least truly beautiful, healthy hair. You can fake it out a little bit because there's all kinds of chemical shenanigans that cosmetics and hair companies will play with their products. Skincare, you know, I've been saying this for years. The skincare business is, it's hard to find a more full of baloney business than the skincare business, but you know what? Hair care may take the cake. Shampoo, at least skin, there's some viable tissue there. Uh, sure, underneath the dead stuff, the stratum corneum, which, is, which gets its hardness, by the way, from keratin, like the hair. Underneath the, the surface, the hard surface, there's some viable tissue. There's some living tissue in the skin that you can affect, but not so in a hair. A hair is dead as a doorknob. Nothing happened in there. You got three layers to a hair strand. Hair strand, hair is pretty darn interesting. A hair is maybe about one tenth as thick as a pin head. It's really very, very thin. You got about 100,000 hairs of head, uh, hairs on your head, hair strands on your head. There's three layers to a hair strand. So even though this thing is like one tenth of an inch, it's made up of three layers. I love this idea that in the body there's layers. The body's made up like baklava. The organs, the hair, the eyes, the glands, the skin. It's made up in layers, multiple layers, like baklava. It's made up of multiple layers. This, by the way, is a very, very important point when it comes to how we take care of our skin. If you think, you don't realize that the skin, or the hair for that matter, if you don't realize it's made up in layers, you lose your power, you lose your control. The inner layer of the hair is called the medulla. The second layer of the hair, which is really where the bulk of your hair is, is the middle, cort it's called the cortex, and that's really what gives the hair its strength. And then on the outside, you have the cuticle. It's the cortex and the medulla that give the hair its, its real appearance. And that's why you're not going to do anything. One of the reasons why you're not going to do anything with your shampoo. You've got to get underneath the cuticle. And by the way, the color is in the cortex and in the medulla. And because these layers are relatively, relatively deep in the hair shaft and covered by the cuticle, you can't really change the way your hair looks and you can't really change the color of your hair without doing some intense chemistry, aggressive chemistry, high heat. Uh, alkaline, alkalinizing agents like lye, potassium hydroxide, super aggressive stuff because you got to get underneath the cuticle to get to, to get to where the bulk of the hair is and to where the color of the hair is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We do have lines open for you. If you've got questions or comments or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back. On the bright side, thank you for joining us. We got lines open 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Youngevity products you hear advertised on the program, please go to brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Of course, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, we'd love to have you on the team. I can help you build your business. We do three-way phone calls, and I come out and help you via personal presentations. I love doing personal presentations. You can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, which is uh, my website for my four Truth Treatment products, as well as my blog, my skin, uh, one of my blogs, my skin health blog, if you want to check that out. And also, why don't you friend me or uh, like my, my uh, Truth Treatment Facebook page. It's uh, The Truth With Ben. Just put in that, put, search for The Truth With Ben uh, in your search engine on Facebook, and then uh, 
you can check out my Truth Facebook page. We do specials for the Truth products as well as uh, various blog posts and whatever, all kinds of interesting things that I think about with the skin, do-it-yourself kinds of things. It's uh, the Truth with Ben Facebook page. From the journal, Acta Histochemica, Acta Acta Histochemica, this is from February 2005, the protective effects of melatonin against stress-induced mast cell degranulation. That means irritation. That means allergic reactions. That means swelling. That means inflammation. Well, melatonin is protective against that. From the journal, Acta Dermato Venerologica. These are both, believe it or not, very well-known journals. Melatonin is involved with psoriasis. Investigations of the disorder of melatonin secretion in psoriasis are needed to understand its significance. They took samples out of patients. Uh, they took samples out of uh, 13 healthy males and 13 psoriatic males, and guess what? Levels of melatonin were significantly lower in the psoriasis males. I'm not saying melatonin cures psoriasis, by the way. I'm just saying that if you have a skin health condition, the chances are that you've got a melatonin condition as well. All right, tomorrow we'll talk more hair stuff, talk about, uh, talk about shampoos and conditioners a little bit as we continue our discussion on fats and the skin and fats and hormones and fats and inflammation and fats and fats and icosanoids on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Lee in New Jersey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, Ben, how are you? Hey, what's up, man? Where in, where in Jersey are you? That's my old... Uh, north, northwest, Rockaway, New Jersey. Where, what's it called? Rockaway. Oh, you're from Rockaway. Okay, cool. All right. So, what's going on today in New Jersey? Um, so basically, I've I've been having you know mental health problems for years and years. Well, be specific. Be spe be specific, because uh, you don't well, sound they mentally want, ill. I want to diagnose me with bipolar, but uh, okay, that, I don't count I, that. Yeah, I think I'm either depressed or I'm just not depressed. You know. Okay. Um, and by the but, way, uh, if you're depressed, uh, one thing, Lee, just because you're depressed doesn't mean you have a mental health disease or an issue. There's a lot of good reasons to be depressed. It's when you're chronically depressed. It's when you yeah. can't get out of it kind of thing. That's when it runs into a problem. But it's still, in my opinion, not a, uh, not a medical issue. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lee. But I think even more that it was, it's more than the anxiety. And in addition to that, I've been having I've had skin problems my whole life. Like okay, when I they're all connected. My childhood, when I think back to my childhood, I've always been itching or scratching. All my, connected, so my, Lee. All connected. I know. How old, how old are you, buddy? I'm 21 years old. Okay, so you're forgiven because you're still a youngster and you don't necessarily know this stuff yet. But guess what, bro? You got a digestive condition, and once you can, once you get down to the bottom of it, chances are pretty good uh, everything will resolve. And I don't know that can't say that for a fact because I don't know you, but the chances are good. Certainly, a lot will resolve. The fact that what you just said about a minute ago is the key. You said you were itchy. Do you hear that? Remember saying that you were itchy and yeah. rashy when you were a kid. Bingo, food allergy. That's all you need to know right there. You follow me? I want everybody to hear yeah. this. If you have itchy, rashy on the skin, you have a food problem. Unless you're one of the rare people who just got into latex. You have a latex allergy. You, you, you jumped into a pot of latex or a vat of latex. You know what I'm saying? It happens topically. But when it happens all over the body, when it happens chronically, when you're not you know, exposing yourself to some kind of bizarre topical toxin, you got a digestive problem, which is 99% of the time. But that's such good news for you, Lee. That's amazing news. That's the best news you probably heard in 20 years or 21 years. Because yeah. that means everything can resolve. You hear what I'm saying? Lee, I'm not telling you yeah. this with 99% assurance. I'm telling you 100% assurance. I, got, I can't even tell you how many letters I get from people who they think it's a miracle. And it seems like a miracle. But it's not. You take the well, stuff well, out. Yeah, let me let me just finish this up real quick. Get okay. a food diary. Write everything you eat. You still have digestive issues, and if you don't know them, it's only because they're going under the radar. And then you probably still have skin issues as well. The anxiety is caused by long-term secretion of stress hormones following this attack. You know that's what uh, food intolerance is—an attack on the body. So the anxiety will start to resolve itself there. Now, if you have emotional things, and sometimes bipolar and depression, there's and even anxiety, there are emotional things that are involved. And I don't want to be the guy that says, just take this vitamin and that mineral and everything goes away. It doesn't work that way. If you have emotional and mental things going on, those need to be
be addressed. SMEP, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, in that order. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. Now, from the physical perspective, though, you can do a lot. Do a food diary, get yourself on the nightly essence, and probably want to take a lot of them at first. Eat lots of fermented food, make your own, get a book called The Art of Fermentation, become a fermenting expert. That's really what you should be doing. Apple cider vinegar after your meals. Um, I said digestive enzymes, I think. You might want to try things to coat the digestive tract. That means aloe, noni, cartilage-containing products. There are herbs like uh, colt's foot and mallow that have a sort of mucilaginous quality that can coat the digestive system, the digestive tract. Gelatin, gummy, gummy material, algae, a, a fucoid Z. All of these can coat the digestive tract and give you some some benefits that way. But your most important step by far is going to be to eliminate certain foods. Gluten will probably be on the list. Grains, flours, uh, cereals, uh, uh, pasta, potatoes, eggs, peanuts, dairy products. All of these are likely suspects. Go ahead, Lee. You had some other stuff? Okay. Well, yeah. The next thing I was going to ask is that, uh, you know, I wanted to ask the pharmacology expert um, that I was, I was put on Seroquel at 200 milligrams to help me sleep. And, and then now I, I just wanted to get off it. But when I got off it, it seems like my allergy symptoms increased like 10 points. Yeah, that's called a rebound effect. Everything was artificially suppressed. You took the, it's like a mouse trap. <laughs> Think of a mouse trap. You press on the mouse trap, right? You yeah. press, 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 so it looks like nothing's happening. In fact, the mouse trap is completely still. It's, and then all of a sudden, you take your finger away, your hand away, or the, 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 the locking mechanism away. You remove the Seroquel, boom. You get an explosive effect. It's a rebound effect. It's very common. That's why, they want, that's why you have to wean off of these things. Now, Seroquel is a pretty heavy-duty medicine, by the way. You know this, right? Yeah. yeah. It ain't, uh, that's a pretty heavy-duty one. They get, that's antipsychotic. You're in the antipsychotic yeah, my, my world. My doc's got a real, uh, a real heavy hand in the prescription pad. That's what I always <laughs> tell him. But you sound like a smart kid. I'm going to forgive you because you're a kid, but you're a I've, smart I've kid. I've been researching this, you know, and we've gotten all this stuff for, for a few years now. And I've been, you know, I took out, I did an autoimmune protocol where I took out night states, I took out eggs. In That's got to have helped. Li- got to have helped. Li- it helped incredibly, but I still got flare-ups. Well, and you I- didn't do it 100%, dude. You didn't do it 100%, but you see how it helped. Hang on, don't go away, okay? I'll finish up when we come back. If you're on hold, we'll get to you too. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Just opened up my Facebook page and I got this letter uh, from Sydney. A picture, actually. Let me see what it got here. What's this gentleman's name? I can't find your name here, but you got send me a picture. Uh, it's got a bruise on here, really bad bruise. Uh, Jim Muffy, I think he says it. Jim Muffy. Hope you're listening, Jamuffy. It's 1 a.m. there, they said. Uh, it's a bruise. It looks kind of like a bruise. Whenever you have broken skin or broken tissue or broken blood vessels under the skin and it looks like a bruise, and I can't tell if that's a bruise based on the picture you sent me. It looks sort of bruisey. What you're looking at is leaking blood. Blood only leaks. Blood usually leaks when there's broken blood vessels. It can also have, a, it can also have to do with the pressure, but that looks more like there's broken blood vessels in there. Basically, you're breaking down. Whoever this is is breaking down. There's major inflammation going on in that area, and it's causing that whole area to not get nutrition, to be... Uh, accumulate toxicity and to also not have oxygen. All of that is making it break down and that's what you're seeing in the skin. It's not complicated, you guys. It's always going to come down to the same thing. I, I, love, I love telling you the mechanism of it all, but it still only comes down to this, always comes down to the same thing. The mighty 90 essential nutrients remove toxicity, including sugar and food allergens, of course. Patch up the gut and uh, make sure you're relaxing the body and oxygenating as well. It's really not that complicated. Uh, Chances are this person has some major digestive health issues, something they've been doing chronically for them to have a significant picture, a significant issue like this. For the listeners, it's it's a really significant bruise, purple kind of appearance to the skin. It doesn't quite look like a bruise, but I I suspect that's what it is. Uh, And usually that means major breakdown in the blood vessels, and that means major inflammation, and that means typically a long time chronic problem. That's great news, though. The, 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 the bigger they are, the harder they fall, as they say. And meaning, the sicker we are, the faster we turn it around. Lee, what's going on, man? I didn't mean uh, to cut you off there. What were you saying? Oh, that's fine. You can rant as long as you want. 
I, okay. I found you like I found you a week ago. I can't believe I'm already on the phone talking with you. This is incredible. That's awesome. I'm glad you called. So, could, do you anything else you want to talk about? I mean, it, you know, what you said is really interesting. I actually love what you said. And, and Lee, this is very important. And everybody listening, I hear this all the time. Lee actually cured himself without a doctor. 